Morning, everyone. It's 836 on this Tuesday morning, and this is your pre-opening comment. It is video number 2180. Okay, uh, Asia and Europe both lower. Um, if you haven't seen it, there's been pretty much um, a shift towards uh, the right in European elections. And uh, the biggest issue, I guess, is uh, France. Um, and we'll have to see. Macron says he's not going to resign. He's called for a snap uh, election. And um, we'll have to see how that turns out. However, uh, the markets today are lower. Um, and really, there's not a lot of news from today. However, tomorrow is a huge day. Um, tomorrow we have, uh, let's see, just to give you the, an idea. First thing in the morning, uh, we have mortgage apps, which is really not market moving. But at 830, we have CPI and core CPI. Then we have crude oil inventories at 1030. Uh, but um, the big numbers are uh, starting at two o'clock, we have the FOMC rate decision. So they're meeting today and uh, their meeting, of course, ends tomorrow. And then we also have the Treasury budget. These are all um, some pretty market moving issues uh, that we'll have to deal with uh, since speculation is all over the place about rate cuts. Um, you know, I've been saying now for eight months that we're not getting the rate cut this year. Um, and, uh, you know, now we're talking about the possibility of uh, September or November or maybe year end. Uh, I, you know, I still don't see it. Uh, this morning's economic news was NFIB small business optimism, which rose slightly. Uh, the number was 90.5 uh, versus uh, 89.7 in April. So, um, you know, not particularly you know, market moving. Uh, also, we have uh, Apple with the Worldwide Developers Conference. The stock was down 2% yesterday. It's down another 70 cents today. Uh, the uh, company is trying to push an upgrade cycle here uh, by having all of the AI, um, AI features uh, only handled with an upgrade on the hardware. Um, in any event, uh, it was upgraded to buy from neutral at DA Davidson, but there is an issue with Elon Musk who says if Apple's, if Apple integrates open AI in the OS level, then Apple devices will be banned from his companies because it represents an unacceptable security violation. Uh, DSX Technologies up uh, half a buck this morning, pre-market on Apollo and um, Kindrel KD in talks for a joint bid for the company. Um, doesn't look like much action at up 2.6%, but the stock was uh, 14 and a half just a week, a week and a half ago. Uh, Autodesk uh, beat by 12 cents, beat on revenues, also not much, up two tenths of a percent. Um, Coinbase, uh, Bitcoin under 67,000, Coinbase is down 3.7%. Uh, Shopify in the, um, initiated as an overweight at JP Morgan, that's up a half a dollar or eight tenths of a percent. And um, tonight we have Oracle after the close. Okay, the chart on the screen is uh, the um, net gas. And even though the rest of the energies are down, that gas is up pretty strongly. This is a 9.7 cent move on a $3 commodity. Uh, so three and a half percent pretty decent. Looks like it came down, tested the low here. This is a daily chart. 
Um, even though the MACD was moving heavily to the downside, um, it looks like we're going to have a little bit of a test here higher. Um, you know, I think the fundamentals here are outstanding, um, but we do run into an awful lot of supply here between three and a quarter and let's call it 340. Um, but, you know, we are backing and filling and it looks to me like we're going to go higher. Uh, this red line is the 100 week moving average. The green line is the 200 week. Uh, but you can see the 5 and 20 cross to the upside. Now the 20 looks like it's going to, you know, move back towards the 50. So we'll see what happens there. I would be in the UNG for that. It was discussed um, both on Sunday night and then again yesterday in our free Discord room. Okay, so oil uh, down 30 cents after yesterday's big move higher. Uh, we have uh, heating oil down. We have gasoline down. So not much there. The gold is up $6, but the uh, silver is uh, down 24 cents again copper after a nice move higher came back in 449 down about five cents um, <clears throat> s p though okay so <clears throat> earlier this morning the dow was down about 160 we were down about 55 in the nasdaq and about uh, 16 in the s p uh, right now, uh, after a bit of a rally, we seem to be fading again a little. We're down about 11 in the S&P. It got back to down only about 6 or 7. <clears throat> the Dow is down 125, and uh, we're down about 42 in the NASDAQ. Uh, the bonds are slightly higher in the long end. The short end is, however, um, uh, you know, a little less movement there. Uh, the dollar is higher by 17 cents. And as I mentioned, in Europe, there's some problems. So we have a continuation of the uh, euro to the downside. Remember that uh, the dollar's biggest weight in the basket is uh, the euro and uh, the Japanese yen. So uh, you can see how the euro has tried to move higher. It's in, you know, somewhat of a consolidation, but this break uh, may cause a problem. All right, folks. Uh, have a good day. Be careful out there and be on top of tomorrow's numbers.